Hi YouTube family, a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. Hope you had a warm and safe day as we have snow and it's very, very cold. So when you have this much ripe planting in your home, what do you do with it? It's very delicious when you fry them and it's very delicious when you make them in some nice soup or metem. But today I'm gonna be making some boiled and fried ripe plantain and some stew salt fish because I love plantain any way shape and form ripe or green and any way you cook them roast them boil them anyway so ripe plantain is one of the easiest thing to peel as you can see cut the top and the bottom and you just make a slit on the side and then you pull it backwards like that and it comes right off smooth and clean like that with no mess on your hands or anything like that so I really love working with this ripe plantain and you guys please leave in the comment and let me know how you like to have your ripe plantain I would also like to shout out a happy belated birthday to Rena's brother-in-law who celebrated his birthday on January 23rd. So happy birthday, Rena's brother-in-law. We wish you many, many more birthdays to come with peace, love, joy, and happiness. I just finished peeling my plantain. I'm gonna cut them into small pieces like this. And in order for them to cook quickly and for all my ingredients to well and soak in into this plantain, I'm gonna cut it back in half like that. So we can have all our flavors going through the plantain. Look at that. Plantain is very rich in iron and so, so good for us. Plantain is good for breakfast, it's good for lunch, and also dinner, depends on how you prepare it. And it is well known in many different countries. So in the hot water, I added some salt and of course wash the plantain before you add it to the pot. So I'm going to put all the plantain in until they're nice and soft. For my salted fish stew, I have here some flat leaf parsley. I'm going to use a marbury pepper and half of a green chili. I have some red onions some cilantro and some green onions. Let's chop these fresh ingredients up. So first of all, we're gonna go in and chop our onion. Flat leaf parsley. green onions I'm gonna go in with my pepper now and I'm doing the green chili and the mar marbury they both have amazing flavor my boil and fry with nice spiciness and last but not least our cilantro which will add great flavor to the salt fish stew let's have a nice limey kind of flavor and it gives a perfect finish to any fish dish I'm rhyming so I just added my onions 
to about a teaspoon of coconut oil. Any oil can work. And for this recipe, any onions can work. I'm gonna cook the onion a little bit for about a minute or so. Red onion cooks really, really fast. And we're making a nice stew salt fish here. I'm gonna go in and add my tomato paste and I'm adding about two tablespoons of tomato paste. We're gonna fry that up because we want to get rid of the rawness and for it to infuse a little bit in the oil. We're gonna go in with our salted fish and this is boneless, skinless salted fish. I already soak it overnight and boil it out and now I'm gonna start making the stew for our boil and fry ripe plantain. I love salted fish and ripe plantain is also one of my favorites. So today, this is my absolute favorite dish that I'm making here. So now we wanna go ahead and add some ingredients to our salt fish stew. I'll go in first with my black leaf parsley, pepper, and green onion. And now we're gonna give all this goodness a mix. And I'm gonna go in here with a little bit of water because I wanna create a nice sauce for our salt fish stew. So just about a quarter cup of water, just to make it to a nice saucy kind of salted fish. Look at how beautiful that is. And I'm gonna just go in with some black pepper. So at this point here, the salted fish have the right sauce that I'm looking for. It looks nice and juicy for me. And you might wanna taste yours to see if there's too much salt. Or if all the salt is gone, you might wanna add a little bit more to flavor it up. So because this is done, I'm gonna go in now with my cilantro right at the end, which will add that nice freshness from the cilantro to the dish. And we'll just mix this in. Look how beautiful this is. When you create that nice juicy salted fish. And this here, I'm gonna remove it and we're gonna put together the plantain with the salted fish. And this is the fun part. So instead of eating the salted fish separate from the ripe plantain, I'm gonna add my stew salted fish in here because the plantain is ripe, it is soft, and it's gonna suck up all that nice gravy from this beautiful, delicious salted fish. I'm just gonna add it to the pot with the ripe plantain. I'm gonna gently mix it up. And this is what I call my boil and fry ripe plantain and stew salt fish. And what Hobby likes to do is take the pot by the two handle and just flip it gently, gently because we don't wanna mash the plantain up. And we're gonna have dinner soon. So here it is YouTube family. This is my boil and fried ripe plantain and salt fish stew. If you never had it this way before, please give it a try. It is so delicious, so tasty, and so enjoyable. For all my vegetarian friends, you can have it with all the ingredients and the plantain on its own, and it will still be a beautiful dish. But for all my non-vegetarian friends with a nice warm cup of tea, you're gonna be so happy. So let me plate up 
and I will reveal how this tastes. So here is my delicious bowl of boil and fry rye plantain and salted fish stew. For this meal, you don't need a lot. It fills you up very quickly and you gotta have a nice warm cup of tea for that. So I'm gonna go in and get a nice piece here and the plantain is nice and soft and I have all that sauce so I don't need to mix it up. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The plantain is so nice and sweet. That's what I really enjoy. Look how beautiful and nice and soft this is. And the salted fish stew have that beautiful flavor of all that good ingredients. And you can bite a piece of the fish in there. Amazing. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I know you guys can imagine the flavor what's going on here right now. I wish if you can taste it. That plantain is like the perfect ripeness along with salted fish. It's two like husband and wife together. So I'm gonna finish eating my dinner. If you guys like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing for us. Until then, we want to say stay blessed, stay safe. We love you guys. Bye for now.